Shalom, shalom. I know I'm pretty late. Let's try to get some friends on here. Shalom, shalom. I'm trying to wait for some people to get on here. Shalom, shalom. I'm trying to wait for some folks to get on here. I'm trying to wait for some folks to get on here so we can go over. Uh, Tour only readers versus uh, the whole Bible. Trying to wait for a couple, uh, a couple uh, more uh, people. A couple more people to get on here. Trying to wait for a couple more feet people to get on here so I can go ahead and get into it. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Shalom, Israel. Shalom. Shalom, shalom. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, start and hopefully uh, others will jump in as I'm uh, going ahead and talking. So um, just been hearing a lot lately about um, others. Uh, Israel, uh, hey, I, what's going on? Just, uh, just trying to set a couple of things straight. Uh, Shalom, Shalom, yes, indeed, peace and blessings. Um, I'm just trying to straighten out a couple of things. Um, I've been hearing or having, uh, I don't want to call them the uh, baits with Torah only readers. Um, just trying to you know, understand and uh, put out a little scripture and, and let's see if we can, uh, you know, uh, put a, a little rest to it. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and start off with Genesis uh, 1 and 26 through 27. Should have wrote down a couple more scriptures, but I, uh, I told you guys that I was going to get on, get on here at 530, so... <laughs> I'm kind of late, but uh, just want to go ahead and do this real quick. Uh, Genesis 1, 26 and 27. So let's read this. So I got a question. I'm going to phrase it in my Bible verses. Uh, so Genesis 1, 27 reads, And God said, let us make men. First of all, let's say, that it says us. Let us make men. Uh, let us make men in our image. After our likeliness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea. Over the fowl of the air. Over the cattle. And over all the earth. Okay. And over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Verse 27. So God created man in his own image. Uh, in the image of God created he, male and female, created he them. Okay. So, um, I, I, I just want to uh, expound on that because my next um, check, my, my next, uh, let's do this. Let's go here. Let's go to uh, Psalms and. Let's go to Psalms uh, 
40 real quick. Psalms 40, 6 through 9. Because look at this. Psalms 40 and 6. Sacrifice and offerings thou, do, thou doest not desire. Mine ears hast thou, hast thou opened. Burnt offering and sin offerings hast thou not required. Verse 7. Then lo, I. I mean, so like it. Uh, verse 7. Then lo, I. Yeah. Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. Okay. So who's that speaking there? That's Hamashiach. Yahweh Shah. Now, when he said he came in the volume of the book, uh, that means the old and the new. Okay, well, Trav, what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you talking about here? Uh, everybody, all the Torah only readers, they uh speak speak about um how the Most High. Was the only one in the uh, Old Testament. Okay, well, let's go ahead and uh, let me further uh, prove this then. See, we now we're going to have to get a, a witness. Uh, Hebrews. Let's go to Hebrews real quick. Let's go to Hebrews 10. Hebrews 10, verse 6. We're going to go through verse 6 through 9. Okay? Let's get a precept here. And it's going to further explain. Okay? And burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin, thou hast not, uh, uh, thou hast had no pleasure. Verse 7. Then lo, then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book it is written of me to do thy will, O God. Okay. Now let's go ahead and uh, read for let's read further down to uh, nine. Then lo, he said, "Oh, uh, did y'all catch that? This is a uh, wow." Uh, then lo, he said, "No, no." Then lo, he. I mean, I'm sorry, Salat. Then said he, lo. I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. Let's read that again. Verse 9. Then said he, Lo, I come to do thy will, O God. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. Okay, now let's go on to, to uh, verse uh, 10. Uh, what's that, verse 10? Yes, verse 10. By the which... Well, uh, uh, well, we we all sanctified through the offering of the body of Hamashiach Yahawashai once for all. Oh man, he just said we here now. Okay, now let's go. Uh, let's now let's further prove. Now let's go ahead and go to Ecclesiastes. Okay, let's go to Eccles Ecclesiastes ver uh, chapter one. Verse 9 and 10. Okay. Ecclesiastes is 1. 9. Ten, that thing that has been. Okay. Now, there's nothing new under the sun. We all know this. Okay. There is nothing new under the sun. So, what is being revealed in the new uh, was once in the old. Okay. Uh... People don't understand when you read Torah only. I I I just want a question. Well, I I just have a question. Well, it's more of a comment. If the early church fell away, let me leave me, let me say this again. If the early church fell away, why should we? Now I understand we should model after it. But why, if if do you want to fall away with the early church? I'm trying to make heaven my, my home. I'm not trying to fall away. See? I can go into that, but let me just read this. Let me go ahead because I'm about to go all off. Ecclesiastes 1 and 9. The thing that hath been 
It is that which shall be. And that which is done is that which shall be done. And there is no new thing under the sun. Okay, verse 10. There is, uh, there is anything whereof it may be said, see, this is new. It hath been already of old time. Okay. Which was before us. Okay. Now I'm going to stop there. I'm going to go to another chapter. Now let's, now let's go. Let's go to Matthew 17 real quick. Now we about to get down to the nitty, nitty gritty here now. Matthew 17. Uh, what was that? Matthew 17 verse 5. Um, well, let's start at four. Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Okay, now let's start at verse four. Matthew 17 and verse four. Then answered Peter and said unto Jesus Christ, Lord. Well, let me start over. Then answered Peter and said unto Yahweh Shai. Lord, is it good for us to be here? If thou wilt, let us make make here three tabernacles, one for thee, uh, uh, and one one for Moses, and one for Elias. Okay, verse verse uh, five. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud over overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud. Which said, this is my, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. Now, let me tell you why I read this scripture right here. I read this scripture because I heard a Torah only reader say, um, well, God did what wasn't, he was not once in one, he was not in, uh, uh, in the new Testament at all. Okay. Well, it just proved, proved you wrong. Matthew 17. Let's read it again. Matthew 17, uh, verse 5. Fire, let's read 5 through 7. Okay. While he yet spake, while he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them. And behold, a voice out of, out of the cloud which said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face and were sore afraid. And Jesus and, 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 and Yahweh Shai came and touched them and said, Arise and, uh, and be not afraid. Okay, now hold on. I thought Yahweh didn't speak in the New Testament at all. Okay, well, let's get a precept for it then, okay? Let's go to Luke 9. Yeah, let's go to Luke 9. Bible says, be ready to prove all things. I'm ready to prove it here. I had other script, scriptures too, but like I said, I, I wanted to hurry up and get on some kind of rushing. Exactly. That is definitely a cut because, you see, they don't read. They don't study to uh, show, show themselves approved. Okay. Now, here we uh, go. Uh, Luke 9. Let's start at 30, 33. Uh, 33 through, we're going to go 33 to 36. Okay. And it came to pass as they departed from him. Peter said unto Yahweh master, it is good for us to be here. And let us make three tabernacles, one for thee, uh, one for Moses and one for Elias, not knowing what he said. While, while thus he spake, there came a cloud and overshadowed them. Why did it overshadow them? Why, why did the cloud come, come, come out if, if, if uh, 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 we're supposed to be living in only Torah? Why did that happen? We're supposed to be living in only Torah, the only Old te Testament. Now, let me uh, show you, okay? Uh, 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 where, where am I at? Saying, uh, and there came out, uh, man. Overshadowed them, and they 
and they feared as they entered into the cloud. And there came a voice out of, out of the cloud saying, this is my beloved son. Hear ye him. Okay. Uh, 36, yeah. And when the voice was passed, Yahawashai was found alone. And they kept it close and told no man in those days any, any of those things which they have seen. Wow. Okay, hold on now. I thought it was just, uh, we, we, we were supposed to just stay in Torah only. He said, for lo, I come in a value, mother, but to do thy will. See? Okay, so now let's go ahead and go to, uh, man, now, now, I'm, now I'm about to cut, cut you here. Let's, let's go to John 8. See, because now what you're doing is you playing with my, uh, 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 with, you playing with, with my savior, uh, now. See? I, I, I take offense to uh, this, see? We, when you uh, call him my savior, the one who came and, and died on a tree for, uh, for all of us to be branched back to uh, gather for Israel and for Judah to be branched back to uh, gather to bring salvation, you, 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 you playing with him uh, now, see? I can't stand by and let you call my, my savior. Uh, no, he's not God. He's not the most high. But he is a savior because he came and died. See, the Most High sent his only begotten son to come down to earth and be us, uh, 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 to be the sacrificial lamb. See, you can't get past that. See, by you calling him faggots and by you, by you calling him rebels and all that. See, I'm highly offended. I can't take that, man. Now, let's go ahead and go to, like I said, John 8 and 30 and 33. John 8, 33. We're going to read 33 through 37 because, see, this is what happened, see? Now, I'm about to hit on uh, this. The Jews delivered Yahweh Shai up, correct? Yeah, Roman soldiers killed, killed them. But who offered them up? It was the Jews, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, right? Okay, so let's go into this because, see, this is what Torah-only readers are doing. They being the modern-day Pharisees and Sadducees. Let me show you why. 33. John 8, 33. They answered him. We be Abraham's seed. Okay, which are? Okay, uh, ain't Jews all Jews of the Shem... Shem oh, I can't even get it out. The Shem Shemitic line? We're not talking about Hamites, Jebedic uh, line. We talking about Shem. Okay. Read. Let me read it again. Then they answer him. We be Abraham's seed. We were never in bondage to any man. How sayest thou? Ye ye uh, ye shall be made free. <laughs> Yahweh shall answer them. Very very I say unto you, whosoever committed sin. Is the servant of sin. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. Uh, verse 36. If the son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. 37. I know that ye are Abraham's seed. This is Yahweh talking here. I know that ye are Abraham's seed, but ye seek to kill me. Who sucked? Who? Who? Who was trying to kill him? See, it wasn't just uh, Roman. The Jews is the one who 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 scoffed and offered them up. Ain't that what's what's going on today? Okay. I know ye are Abraham's seed, but ye but ye seek to kill me because my word. Have no place in you. Okay. Now let's skip to the 39th ver uh, verse. Let's read it again. They answered and said unto him. Abraham is our father. Yahweh Shai said unto them. Ye, uh, ye, uh, if, if ye were Abraham's church. If ye were Abraham's children. Ye, ye would do the works of Abraham. <laughs> Man. 
Okay, verse 40. But but ye seek to kill me, a man that hath told you the truth, which I have uh, which I have heard of yet Yahweh. He see, he never came and said that he was Yahweh himself. He just said that he came to 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 uh, do the will of his father. See, he never tried. He, he never said that he came to replace him or, or anything. He was sent from the the uh, father. OK. Um, if if you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. Verse 40. But now you seek to kill me, a man that have told you the truth, which I which I uh, I which which I have heard of Yahweh. This did this did not Abraham. Ye do the deeds of your father. Then said they to him, We uh, we we be not born of fornication. We have one father, even Yahweh. Okay. So who who is this talking here? This is talking to the uh, uh this is the this is the Jews talking to uh this is the the uh, Jews talking to uh Yahweh Shai. Shalom, shalom. Indeed. Um Okay, so 42 no wait, yeah, forty, forty uh, two. Yahweh Shai said unto them, "If God were your father, ye would love me, for I proceeded forth and came forth from Yahweh. Never came I of myself. Never came I of myself, but He sent me. Okay, He said He sent him." He never said he came for himself. He he was sent. See? Okay, so let's read 44. Um, ye are of your father the devil. In the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. In the bold, not in the truth. Because there is no truth in, in him. When he, when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar. In the father of it. 45. Uh, and because I, I tell you the truth, ye believe me not. Which of you convince me of sin? Question mark. And if I say the uh, truth, why do ye not believe me? 47. He that is that is of Yahweh heareth Yahweh's word. Words, ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God, bro. If you're not here, if you can't get with the new and with with the old and the new, you're not of him, man. You can't come. He just said it. It's in his word, right there. Let's read it again. He that is of Yahweh, let's just read it straight. He that is of God, hear God's word. Ye there, ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. Oh my God, you are not of Him if you're not hearing it, man. He sent the Son down, man. That's what he. That's what he did. Ain't no getting around that. Okay. Um, where am I at? Forty. Forty-eight. <clears throat> then answered the Jews. That's how you know that. See, he was talking to the Jews. See. Then answered the Jews and said unto him, say, say we not, uh, say we not well that thou art a Samaritan and hast a devil. Oh, my God. Y'all going this far and scoffing now? All right, come on. 40, 49. 49 verse. Yahweh shall I answer, I, uh, I have not a devil, but I honor my father. Let uh, come on now. He said, he said, I have not a devil, but I honor my father and ye and, and ye do dishonor me. OK, now let's go down. to uh, let, Let's just read there. Um, and I seek not my my own glory. 
He just said it. He seek not his own glory. He came to do it, the will of his father again. And I seek not my own glory. There is uh, there is one that seeketh and judges. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep me uh, my saying, he shall he shall never see death. Uh, Fifty two. Then said the Jews unto him, Now uh, we know that thou hast a, thou hast a devil. Abraham is dead, and the prophets. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, Abraham is dead. And the prophets, and thou sayest, if a man keep my saying, he shall never taste of death. Man, ain't that like? Why are you scoffing this hard? Art thou greater than our father Abraham, which which is dead? And the prophets are dead. Whom maketh maketh thou thyself? Jesus answered and said. I mean, uh, Jesus answered. If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. Look, come on. Jesus said, if I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my father that honoreth me. Of whom ye say that he is your God. That's all I'm going to say. On this matter, um, I could go deep, deeper into this sub subject, but I just have a warning. For all only Torah only for Torah only. If you do not repent and come to the full truth in the knowledge, you gonna die right here with the heathen. You going in that lake of fire. I say to you right now. Repent, repent, and come into the fullness of him. Because right now, what you're doing is scoffing. And by you talking about our Messiah, Yahweh Shai, he's coming back again. He's coming back for vengeance. And he said that he's going to uh, uh, lay his vengeance upon Edom by the hand of of his people. So thanks for watching. Once again I close. And I humbly say. Please repent. All of Israel. We all got. I'm not perfect. I still have things I have to work on. As well. But one thing I do know is. The most high gives me. Me these scriptures. To go over. I don't do videos much. But I'm about to start. Because there's some things that. Uh, need clarification on. See. And we have to get the word in its fullness. Precept upon precept. Precept upon precept. Line upon line. Line upon there. Here a little. There a little. You have to get wisdom in this. See. You cannot scoff against. Uh. What, what the word says. Because right now, if you scoffing and you Torah only, Torah only, uh, you're going against uh, the Most High's will and against His Son. If you, and if you go against his, his, his Son, you're not of Him. The word said it. So if you love the word so much, I think you better go ahead and have a change of heart and ask God for forgiveness and, and, and ask God for understanding. Ask the most high. Ask your ask your Howard for understanding. See? So in closing, I say, Quam Yasharela. Israel rise. Shalom.